right guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in this tutorial i'll be teaching you how you can upload your kindle ebook on your paperback on the amazon kdp website and at the end of this video i'll be giving access to a canva pro so that you can make more beautiful design or book cover so let's start so the first thing you want to do is to click on uh, go straight to the website called kdp.amazon.com yes let's say um, um you this one here showed is just English, but that really don't have effect on it. So if you are like on this, it's going to take you directly to the website. What you want to do is to create by using the false sign um, year. So when you click on create, you patiently pick what you want to start. You can start with ebook or you can start with paperback, depending on the content you're making. So I'm going to be doing both. So I'm going to click on ebook. Why will patiently wait for it to load? Sometimes it might take time depending on your network. So over here now we have the first one, English. If you are do, uh, doing this in English, then you will pick English. But if you are doing other languages, it means you have to toggle down and uh, go to the drop down menu and pick the language you want to upload with. But if you want to upload a different language, I don't know how to go about to check my video on my channel. You're going to see how to upload your videos and use on different languages, how to translate as well. It's on my channel, so just take time and go through it. So your book title, which is very, very important and it's not optional. So I'll be going straight to my book because this is a biography I made for John Williams. So I'll be picking that, I'll fill it in this place. Then this one can be optional, but uh, it's good you had, um, you had your your subtitle because subtitle give your work more beautiful or try to explain your title that is why subtitle is very important and if you come here uh, you must check for your title if it's trademarked yes and my channel i talked about how you can check for trademarks a lot of things in my channel though so if it's trademarked there is no need going with it if someone have used this title on amazon there is no need going with it but if it's a biography you can go with it but above all always check if it is trademarked if it's trademarked don't even bother at all so now we can add this to series but this, since this is a part of a series so i'm going to be adding with a series but above all you can decide to add it to your series later if you don't know how to create series just click on create series they will tell you to choose a name choose a name and describe what your series is all about you get so now what i want to do now is uh um, just leave that series out, then go to the author. So find a pen name uh, from here. So you can use any of these. And there's a website called Fake Pen Name Generator. I think there is something like that. Uh, let's click on it and see what we have. You can see Fake Pen Name Generator. You can generate random name you feel like, but you can come out with any pen name idea you want to use so it's not a much to use that website so i just want to use joe brown if you have contributor people talked about it about your book you can add them to it but since i'm just an independent publisher just me so i just i'm just one author so over here i'm going to be putting in the description what describe your book what your book is all about so over here i'm going straight to the introduction of my book to copy that because it seems that describe my book who this person really is so i'm going to come here direct and pick this so um let me move faster okay this is what i want to use so that describes my book so i'm going to paste that here you can decide to type it manually but above all ensure you clear all the spacings that are not important in so if you're using your smartphone this is applicable to it there is no much difference so john um, um towner williams bond so it's a touring figures in the world of music renowned for his prolific career as a composer so what makes john such a compelling figure to study is not only is so i'm just trying to describe my book if you're facing errors you can select or for example you're having html tag just click on the source and this sort it out immediately so but above all i'm not facing any errors so i'm going to leave it this way and i'm good to go so if you're facing error that is all you have to do so i'm going to select all i'm just paste the stuff i have before and so I'm getting out of this source because I don't want to use the source. So that is the best way. If you hear tag issues, if you see any tag issue, then that means you have to sort that out immediately. So, uh, okay, let me just uh, ensure I'm in the right pane. That is, so now we have that. Now I'm going to click on this and move in. Okay, so now the next one to do is I own the copyright. Yes, if this is a public domain work, you should choose that but at your own detriment if you're using any content that is freely available online it's best you don't even take it to amazon because amazon is going to track you down and take down your account so now we've done that does this 
uh, have any mu uh, any video that is not appropriate for kids, you can choose yes. That means if you choose yes, this is going to change to 18 plus and above. But if you pick no, it means every age can read it. Yes, so I'm using no because any child can read this book. There is no you uh, language that is not appropriate. So over here now you can pick your market. We want to use Amazon.com because that is the biggest market in the Amazon website. So, but if you want to just um, be selective, you can pick any of these markets, but advice, you leave it at .com, except you're translated to a different language. That is when you can go ahead and pick other language. Okay, now I want to choose category. Yeah, category is very important. You, this one is a very sensitive place when it comes to category. So what I want to do now is to find a category for this. So um, now um, what I'll do now is this. So I'm going to come here now. Mm, okay, I'm going to just come here and see category finder. So there's what they call category finder. You can use it and see browse KDP category using keyword. So we can see, let's see what is do, uh, do for us. Then we can use another one and um, we're good to go. So they said put a keyword there. Uh, if you, For example, we are talking about Christian prayer book. You can put that Christian prayer book and you find you can see a lot of one trying to tell you where you can find this category and all things that talks about Christian. That what makes this beautiful. But since I'm talking about biography, I'm going to hit on biography and I'm going to hit on enter. Then it's going to tell me that in business, I can see biography and history in business and money in Christian books and Bible. I can see New Testament. I can see biography, religion and spirituality. I can see biography and all this. So another one we can use that is very good is the second one, which is KDP Kindle. Um, um, this uh, by Titans. This um, has been great as well. So we're going to try it and pick uh, where this category of our book should fall and how we can find this. The country is it a paperback or ebook? You can pick. So this one is ebook. So I'm going to just log in and see if I have access to this. Uh, if you don't have account, just create account. It doesn't take time. Use your mail and sign up and you are good to go. So I'm going to pick the Kindle book. Kindle book here. Um, let's see. So I'm going to come here and type what I'm looking for. I'm going to say biography. So I'm going to hit on biography. I'm going to click on enter. Then we're going to come down. You can see company and history. We have biographies. We have biographies on spirituality, Judaism. We have on the cultural heritage. We have performing art. It means you can just move around and see everywhere your book can be. So, but now I'm going to be literally doing it myself. So I'm going to pick choose category because I already know where my book should be. So since this is more of a music, I'm going to come straight to biography. And this guy fall at um, art and literature. Then at the art and literature, it this guy is a composer. So I'm going to be using the composer because it it talks about um, rocks. Yes, because I already made something about this side. I talked about um, this guy being a jazz player. Yes, this guy is a jazz player. So I want to add him in the jazz phase. So I'm going to look for jazz. You can see from here. So now uh, I want to get this out of here because I don't want him to just be in all just one same place. I want to select another one as well. Same as this biography. I'll be I'll be in that place. He has fame, so he's an actor. So I want to go straight to this uh, act and literature as well. I want to see what's here. We have television performer. Yes, he's a television performer. Then I want to select another one as well at the biography fame. So I'm going to pick one of these. I'm going to go to act and literature as well and see. So here we have a composer and musician is an actor. So I'm going to be using an actor because it acts a lot. So now I have this three because before you can select more than three up to eight. But now it has changed. So now the next one to do is a seven back end keyword. One best way to get a seven back end keyword is to go straight to Amazon.com. And when it loads, you can be tricky enough and just come here. Let's say you're making a book on um, children coloring book, which we always search. So we'll come here and write children coloring book. So you see, these are all the search people are using. So that is why it's advisable. Um, you just put in your word any suggestion that comes in. So I'm going to put that again. Children coloring book. You can see all the drop down that comes in. We can decide to fill it in there and we have a lot of massive stuff we can put at our back end. I don't know why this is loading. Maybe I've disabled it. That is why it's giving me this issue. So I'm going to try the last time and see what happened. So I'm going to click on enter and I'm good to go. Okay. Now you can see we have over 70,000 results. How will your book appear? It's very advisable. You can see all the searches people go. Children coloring book park, 
eight by this by disney three to seven box new this and that yes there is what we call expander that expands all this thing for you trying to tell you where your book should fall i've already uh okay yes um that is one way to do fill your seven back end keyword let me check if the extension i have here is um, working because i should have expander i should have one of these expander let me see the quick view if it's activated if it's not activated all right so now we have this okay it's turned off so i'm going to be turning it on so that i can move on from here so i'm going to be using this one to sign in i want to see if i can sign in and show you something because it's very very key we do that okay so let me put in my password okay so i'm going to log in if it's correct if it's not correct then it means i have to okay now i'm not upgrading upgrading this i'm not um putting the sponsored ad i'm just going to leave this this way then i'm going to hit on enter here now and see what we really have if it's working fine so in no time we should have extra drop down that tell me hey your book fall on this category and your book fall on more and more categories it's going to expand on this in no time so that i can have more access to more of this stuff so um this is not coming up i'm trying to tell you, you don't know this extension is called um titan pro yes this is a very nice app when it comes to try to check or we have um bsr rating aha uh -huh. this is what i'm looking for i don't know why it's not activated so let me just turn it on and we're good to go so patiently we just wait it's going to be up soon and i will turn it on and we'll move on i'm just trying to tell you how you can feel so while we wait for network to come up then okay we have this turn on I don't know why this is giving me some kind of issue. I don't know why it's not up and why it's not running, but that's fine. That's fine by me. So uh, let's just be at the website, uh, the KDP dashboard, which just left. So not this, but this itself. So I'm going to just um, sign in here. I'm going to reload this. Let's just reload this sim. We're having a freezing. We're having a freezing. Uh, better still, let me just come and say, amazon.com let's just be at the amazon website.com and um i will not stay long in this i want to use chat gpt as another alternative because this is good so now we have that uh, amazon.com yes so it seems it's up then i just suggested and the other way i want to do is to use chat gpt i'm going to say i'm making a book on biography uh, so i already have a prompt i used to get my back uh, seven back end keyword and that's what i'll be using to get my seven back end keyword for that biography so this is what i want to use so i'm going to say this so since i already talked about i can come here and say i'm making a coloring book so i need seven backend keyword that people will be searching yes so how to do that is just go straight to your charge gpt and come here now sorry sorry for that i'm going to come here and say i need let's say i'm doing coloring book for kids i need a seven long tail key word that amazon shoppers will be using to find a book called children coloring books so that's what i'll be using so now it's going to give me all the suggestions look at what it's telling me animal themed coloring book for kids educational coloring books for children toddler coloring books now see that is how to get seven backend keyword which means you can try this but before you do that ensure all this word you are using are not are not trademarked if they are trademarked you might have issues so you must be careful when filling the back end keyword but above all don't put best in your seven backend keyword don't put new in your seven backend keyword get those out of your mind so i'm going to put this because i want to change what i copied so this is what i need so i want to talk about that man and some stuff okay so uh now we have uh not this itself i should be in this place because this is where i made all my content i use chargeability to generate all my content so i need a series of long term keyword to describe the man i just got so here you can see john williams biography john william memos behind the scene composer john williams autobiography so i can i can be using this one now i'll pick this and drag it closer to this place so that i can fill my seven back end keyword now you can see i have composer john seven backend keyword i have uh john williams impact john williams influence on movie book now i need john williams moving career books because these people might be searching about this man using this word yes what you think people will be searching 
about. So career book, my they might be searching for memo, so I'm going to say and memo. So then composer John William autobiography, yes, people will be searching for. Then we have um okay about this. Okay, I want to edit this because okay okay this is enough this is enough to use the life and music of this we have exploring then if you don't like what it gives you, you can say give me more this is using chat gpt and it's going to suggest more and more and more for you so all you have to do is just tell me more so you can see we have the artistry this 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 and we have more and more you can use so book on john william theme scores so i'm going to put that because i'll be using that keyword and books on john william theme score and okay so i'm going to say true life story of john williams early okay let me just say okay that one is enough we can i can now come and say early life legacy but there's no need using comma early life legacy achievement achievement and um okay let me say of john williams that is another way i think i can feel that so now um now we know that more more to go let me see the suggestion from here the life and music of john william book okay we want to see something like this that is in the life and music of john william books it's a very prominent person and then we have more i think this is better enough than final we want to use uh is something that relate to john. we've talked about this we've talked about uh, more we have um celebrating john william milestones iconic genius of john william book and other stuff okay so uh this is what i use i need a series of long take keyword that amazon shopper will be typing to find this book based on location and even more okay let's say uh location um country you want to tweak that you can decide to say okay the country that will be searching what they will be using to search for this you can see you can see john william uh biography john william music legend you can see star Wars composer and filmmaker behind the scene academic words people are using this grammy winner and some stuff so uh okay you can say um let's just say legends um, you can use your own this is not mine this is not yours this is my own legends um or grammy winner legends grammy winner highest uh grammy winner highest um profile or we can say grammy winners um biography of all time so let's say this is what we have you i can take time to fine tune it next you can come later and just fine tune it so that i don't waste much time here um we're moving on so now we'll see what the problem we are having and we'll fix it immediately he said over here this place we didn't feel it so i'm going to put the exact name if you use uppercase it means that is how your uh, auto name will be so it's good you just use a small letter then after a small letter put the remaining one uh, a capital letter to start a capital letter to start here don't use all true capital case but if you think that's better for you then go ahead with it so i'm going to hit on save and submit this is the most important place of your work because this is what really define how your book will look like yes it really defined so now the next one to do is to upload your manuscript so want to upload a manuscript now next thing you want to do now is to go download that book so this is what i'm downloading i'm going to go to file because i've already arranged it i've had my table of content which means when i go straight to table of content okay i've not added that so i want to be adding it now i want to be adding that so um, that's what we'll be doing so let me just come here and add table of content a sat so if you don't know how to use a uh, doc if you're using your smartphone um then check my channel i talked about this very very extensively how you can use your phone yes how you can use your phone to do greater things when i mean greater things i mean how you can use your phone to explore google doc very well and add above content and download the way i'm doing it doing it now on the screen it's not difficult it's very 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 easy so i'm going to get this office theme is um is 
is on uppercase. Uh, um, sorry, it's on adding. So I'm going to get it at normal test. Then I'm going to put it at the center and just make some changes to it as well. So I'm going to come here and make it impact. Then I'm going to increase it as usual so that it doesn't appear in my table of content. I don't want it to appear. So this is what I have. Then at the color, then I'll pick this color. So now we're back to what we have before the name, the subtitle and some other stuff. Now I have it all matched. And sure, when you click this, it takes you to page 1110. If it's not in 1110, this is 1109, which means that is not correct. So you have to sort that out. And for you to sort it, you have to make reloading. So just reload your table of content. So just reload like this and you are good to go. So now I'm going to clear this off. We don't want this. So we don't want this at all. So I don't want this. So I'm going to get this off from my screen and we're good. So let's see, we have this now. Let's see what it has. 109, you can see it matches very well. That is how to make sure everything you do matches so that you don't have issue when people are buying your book. They don't tell you fake, fake pagination and other stuff. So now you've done this now, next thing you want to do is to patiently download very fast. So we're going to be downloading this as either doc or web HTML. So if you want to download it on as DOCS, it's going to work fine. If you want to download it as web HTML, just like I'm doing, it's going to work for you as well. So now I'm going to come straight to this place and I'll find this document because I've already downloaded it. So what I'll do is to drag it to my screen and I'll put it there. So now let's just leave it here and I have it here now. The next thing I want to do is to upload it. Yes. So now to upload it, I'm going to come here now um, at this place. We're going to click here. Then I'm going to upload this. Then I'll find a document at the screen and I'll upload it. So let's go to the desktop. Find it on your phone. Anywhere it is, you can see John Williams. So I'm going to click on open. Now, while it uploads, we are going to run straight to canva.com and make our paperback. It doesn't take time. I already have a template I use. So it's not something you I would spend more of your time. So all we have to do now is patiently stay and this will load. I'll pick one of these, my design, and just make editing. This is what I'll be using. So uh, now, now uh, while it loads, I want to, uh, okay, let's just wait. This is what we are using. So it's not difficult. I'm going to drag this guy closer so that I can use the details at the very first place. So I'm going to click on John Williams, then I'll come here. Then I'll select this. If you don't know how to use Canva uh, advice, you learn it yourself. Or you can check my channel. There's a playlist that talk, that teaches how to use Canva. But ensure you have your design already. If you don't know how to design, you can chat me up. I'll make a design for you as well. But that will be at the end of this tutorial when you've joined my, um, when you subscribe to my channel. But you can try your own design. Just go to Canva and find. So I need to put picture in this place. So what I want to do is to come here and search for John Williams so that I can use this picture and I'll download it immediately. So let's just search for John Williams. And we have this John Williams. I'm looking for his image. And let's see how it is. So this is the man we're doing for. But you can't just pick any image here and use because it's copyrighted. So the next one to do is to go straight to tools. So you come here and search for Creative Common Line Sense. Then over here, we can use Wikipedia Common. All these are totally easy to use. So I'll be using this one here. So for me to use this, it's going to uh, come up. Then I'm going to right click on it and save the image on my phone. And so you follow everything I'm telling you if you want to play safe on Amazon except you get your account terminated due to copyright issues. So I'm going to come here now. I will upload that document from my system or from your phone, depending on what you are using. Let me check the download here. Then we have this man here. So the next thing I want to do is to make sure I change it to black and white because to play safer, the more so I'm going to use it to black and white. So what I'll do now is to click on this. I'll bring it here. So with the pro version of this, you can edit it and remove the background. Yes, that is why I'm using the Canva Pro. And I told you at the end of this video, I'll tell you how to get it. So stick to it. So why it gets off this can um, this stuff is getting the background off. Uh, if you don't know how to how to remove background, but uh, you can just go there and say BG remover. Let's just say BG uh, not okay BG remover, which is background remove. You're going to look for background. It's going to remove background from image remove dot BG, and you can upload it to this place with if you don't have the Canva Pro. But better still, I want to make more changes to this. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to say I want to make some reflection to this so that it becomes my own automatically without fear of anything. Uh, this reflection is coming out as an app. I'm, I use an in app on Canva that I use. So while we edit this, I want to change the color to black and white. So I'm going to come here and see all. At the see all stage, I'm going to go to mono, which is this. I'm going to pick this guy. 
so no this is much so i'm going to use this guy better still or let's see how this looks all right this is more better this is more more better so now check this if i have anything it's not coming up so i'm going to come straight to the opacity of this and try reduce it small so that they don't say i'm using the exact photo so now well without okay i have what i'm looking for i'm going to create a reflection this is what it's going to look i'm going to add a design so when i add it's going to appear now so that means i'll be using this one here which makes it more more super so what i'll do now is to just um flip it horizontally so i'm going to come here now then i'm going to drag this uh let me just straighten it a bit okay now i'm going to pull this very well now i have this yeah so i'm going to come here why this i'm going to check the position i'm going to bring it forward to front okay better still now i can now drag this which take a good shape now we have this man all good so now you can see joe brown and all this so this is what i'm using john williams biography and stuff i'm going to go up and hit on download now i've, I've done my paperback i'm uh, sorry my book cover then i'm going to download in jpg this is not a difficult thing to do is except you don't practice if you practice you can ensure your title is bold people can read your title is the most important thing there um this is just a biography so people are looking for the name that is why i have this kind of design but i believe you know how to make designs as well so but if you don't know how to make design or how to do all this take your time and watch through my channel the canva playlist go through on how to make book cover then you are good to go so now from here uh now i'm going to come here now um we are uploading that stuff because we've done and downloading so i want to come here and upload that stuff so let's just upload when we upload we're going to come straight to this place this is what i'm using then it's going to load and when it loads you can see well done your book does not have any spelling error or related to that at all so now um now we have that now the next i want to do is to click on uh yes no i didn't generate it with ai if, even though you generated with ai please there is no need saying that all right guys um, if you don't know how to make design i'm just more concerned about your canva um patiently if you want me to make a design on uh a tutorial on how to make cover design then you have to comment on the section um t tutorial for cover design then i will take time and make um, a tutorial for that because it's very very or you can just watch any tutorial on, um, on youtube um how to make book cover design and you will see lots and lots just pick one of them and you will have your cover design ready in no time second ensure you have a prop appropriate um cover design because the maximum width and height is should be 1000 pixel so now we're having this let me see how it is because how it is here that is how it's going to look on other people good i like the first place then we have john williams ebook we have disclaimer we have table of content which means i like this so when i'm good i can go back like this now now we are done with the most important stuff which is the first and the second the third phase of it is pricing so now we have this we're clicking on save and continue so now uh now we're going to save this and continue and we go to the last step of it the last step is very key so some people enroll their book in kdp select the essence of putting your book here is so that people can read your book for a particular token but me i don't want to do that because it's a biography uh someone might read all my book just one day and that's the end so i don't want to just enroll but if you want to put your book on in this option you are free to do that that means in the next 90 days people can read your book for a particular amount like 0 0.05 dollar 0, 0 0.0 depending on how many page they read but i'm not using that for now sometimes i use them for my book so you can decide to use it instead of not having any money at least that will put some money on your dashboard every day okay now i'm going to pick this so i'm going to be pricing this stuff at 7.99 so that is what i'll be using all through so from here now it's going to automatically fill this place but i wouldn't want that i want to fill it myself so i would have to change all these numbers here because i don't like the number i just want it to a round figure so i'm going to be using 7.99 then we're good we are the last phase of this so now uh now this is 7.99 so this is 9.99 too expensive i want to take it to 7.99 and see what i have here yes good so that this is 11.99 is too expensive so i'm going to be use 8.99 here so that i can have the amount of money i want so now we have that before you just eat uh publish because the last year we have is to publish your kindle you want to go one step backward and see if everything really match because it's good you check your first page to see if it match with what you want if it doesn't match it means there's need for you to change this 
So while we have that now, I'm at the first page of it. So you can see from here, we have this take time, check everything. John Williams, biography of this. If there's any error you need to remove, you get them out. So, okay, there's one thing I need to do. I need to add this to a series because I already have a series. I'm working on about people's biography. So this is what I'll be using. So I'm going to be using the main content. That's why it's good to check, check, check. It has been added to it. Now we can move on. You can see from here, the same pen name on one series. That's a great one. So we're going to hit on save and continue. When we don't save and continue patiently, we move on to the other face of this. Yes. So now I'm going to hit on save and continue. Then when we talk about save and continue, we'll go to the last phase of it. So uh, in the next tutorial, I'll be making the paperback version of this, which means how to upload your paperback on Amazon KDP. It's the same, it applies to your smartphone. So follow the same way and you have it. So now we're going to publish our book and hooray, we have the design ready. You can see from here, that is how to do this. Now you can start your paperback immediately. So, but I'm going to show you how to do your paperback cover, how to do the necessary book cover so that you don't find it difficult. In case as you're uploading your book, you have any issue, you can send me a message. This book is going to be on review. If it's a new account, it can be in review for 48 hours to 72 hours. But my account is old, it might not take more than 20 minutes and it has gone live. But if it persists and it's still in review for four days, just send them a message. Yes, look for Amazon App Center, tell them your book has been on review please publish it. They will check your dashboard and you are good to go. Then over the Canva Pro, if you want a Canva Pro link and you want to be part of my team, then there's need for you to send me a DM, but ensure you subscribe to my channel, turn the notification bell, like this video and drop a comment as well so that when you chat me on WhatsApp, I will not have to question you at all. So thank you for your time and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial on how to make your paperback.